back on track? <clears throat> well, before I begin to talk about that, I was just going to chip in, you know, what I think Nana and Co. will do if. No, if, no, I'd like you to tell me what you want. If they want. Because that's right. important matter. Right. If they want. <clears throat> if, uh, if I, I know shortly after that happens, they'll come out and say, uh, gentlemen, unfortunately, we didn't know the true state of the economy is worse than we well, think that's it. that's what you're telling us, John. No. You say we don't no, know. No, no, that's what they're so going to say. we don't know the true And so facts. all you the promises so. we made you, uh, unfortunately, we can't deliver immediately. Just keep your belts tightened in the medium to long term. We shall deliver on those but, promises. But tell me that's what, what they're going to do. But tell me what but, you yeah, um, A lot of programs are in place already and are beginning to yield results. We put in the gateway program. We've, uh, we have the free zones program. It's attracting investment into the free zones. Uh, we uh, recently we cut the sword to set up a new cocoa processing plant that will process 60,000 60, tons of cocoa and increase the amount of cocoa that we're processing from about 20% to close to 35%. These are all programs that are in place. We intend to uh, tackle ag agriculture in uh, a new way that is uh, speeding up uh, irrigation uh, projects all over the country. Right now we have irrigation dams that we're setting up in uh, most of the agricultural areas of this country. And, um, we have a program to uh, set up 30 more irrigation dams. That is to continue to move the percentage of our agriculture that is under controlled conditions like ir irrigation to a larger percentage rather than the present rain-fed conditions. There are programs in all sectors of the economy that are beginning to yield fruits. We think that one of the problems has been unemployment because there is a steady drift of people from the rural areas into the urban centers and people are looking more for jobs in the formal economy than previously when they were employed in the informal economy. We intend to increase the rates of uh, economic growth. We've averaged 5% over the last several years and the intention is to accelerate that growth to 8% with the intention that as the economy expands it will create jobs. Often the temptation and what several of the opposition parties try to do is uh, to give out a program that seeks to say that they would create jobs artificially. I think that it's more natural to grow the economy and as the economy grows, it would create jobs and uh, get people uh, working. Yeah. We have a lot of programs. It's yeah. something that we're, we're, we're carrying out and are going to accelerate in the next four-year mandate. You know, it's interesting. As I listened to him, I, I mean, it's, there was a bit of what he said. I thought, you don't disagree with that, do you? What are, what are, what are the things that, that, that you think are weaknesses in that approach? First of all, I mean, it's, it's refreshing to hear, that, to hear the, the, the communicators of the regime now telling us that they're aware that the path that they have been on before wasn't satisfactory and that is now necessary well, to move. That. Well, said, that's exactly what I said. I said we've had those programs well, that's in what, place that's already. That's what I understand. Yeah. That's 20